In 2004, writer-director Shane Carruth made his feature debut with Primer, a low-budget indie sci-fi film that took the festival circuit by storm. The movie centers on two engineers, Abe and Aaron, who accidentally invent a time machine while working on a side project in their garage. Carruth's film is unique in its scientific approach to time travel. He doesn't rely on flashy special effects or complicated explanations to sell the audience on the concept. Instead, the characters engage in long technical conversations about the intricacies of their invention, and the film challenges the viewer to keep up with the dense plot. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Primer is less interested in the mechanics of time travel and more in exploring the moral implications of its use. Abe and Aaron quickly realize that their invention has the potential to change the course of their lives and the world around them, and their actions become increasingly desperate and dangerous as they try to manipulate time to their advantage. The film's low-budget aesthetic adds to its charm, with Carruth taking on multiple roles in the production, including cinematography, editing, and scoring. The result is a tightly controlled, intimate film that leans so well on the obstructions of a budget below $10,000 that it is incredibly easy to forgive small production mistakes and just get lost in the film's design. This aspect of the film is one that is perhaps as intriguing as the plot itself, and a large part of its legacy. For many, seeing Primer near the time of its release gave a tangible indication that film production was changing. Things could be done with fewer people for less money, and if you had a unique vision and the right drive, a film made cheaply could reach a massive audience. It may seem strange given where we are now, specifically right here on YouTube, but at the time in 2004, Primer felt innately like a look into the future where visual storytelling would come from people who previously never would have dared take the risk. As much as Primer's dense time travel has been explored, people seem equally drawn to the story behind it. Shane Carruth was a software engineer who somehow shot the movie with a crew of five, nearly quit multiple times during a two-year-long post-production phase. But the persistence generated an experience that the typical avenues for making movies likely couldn't have. Despite its modest origins, Primer has left a lasting impact on the sci-fi genre and independent film production in general. It's been praised for its realism and attention to detail, and it separates itself well from other time travel films with its daring approach. The movie has rightly earned its cult following. Primer may not be for everyone, but for those willing to engage with its complex narrative and thought-provoking themes and respect the tenacity it took to make it, it offers a rewarding and intellectually stimulating cinematic experience.